Hello everyone. I'm glad that you could join me again today as we continue to look at uh, Scripture and what took place on Holy Week. Today is the fourth lesson on Thursday. And uh, what took place just before Christ went to the cross? Well, we know that the Lord's Supper was instituted, but also in John chapter 13, we find out that the Lord washed His disciples' feet. Now, I'd like to look at that for just a moment. In John chapter 13, the Bible says, Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from this world to the Father, he loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. And supper being ended, the devil having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God, and was going to God, rose from supper, and laid aside his garment, took a towel, and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel which he had, in which he was girded. Then he came to Simon Peter, and Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered, and he said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. And I just want to skip on down to verse 12. It says, So when he had washed their feet, taken his garment, and sat down again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? Uh, you call me teacher and Lord. You say well, for so, am, so I am. If then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you ought also to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you when you do, if you do them. You know, humility is something that is hard to find in our world today. But as we go to the scripture, I think we find the greatest example of humility embodied in the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Um, many, when they think about humility, attribute humility to weakness. But that's not what we're talking about here in the scripture. Someone wrote, true humility is this, a, a personal quality in which an individual shows dependence on God and respect for others. We have in this passage a true picture of humility. Jesus, who was the Son of God, takes off his garment and he wraps himself in a towel and he begins to wash his disciples' feet. Now, I know this seems a little bit strange in, for us today, but in Jesus' day, uh, this was something that would have been reserved for servants of the house. It was something they would have done. Uh, when guests came into the house um, because they mostly wore sandals and their feet would get dirty and hot. Um, but it's something that uh, you would have thought that on this particular day, the followers of Christ would have thought to at least wash his feet. But in fact, we find him washing his disciples' see, feet. We see Jesus, God in the flesh, in the ultimate in humility, serving others. Jesus knew that the next day that he would die for sins he did not commit. Jesus knew that every one of his disciples would desert him. Yes, the Lord Jesus, even as he washed feet, washed the feet of Judas Iscariot, who would ultimately betray him. You know, humility. Does your life reflect humility? 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 says, you younger men, likewise, be subject to your elders. Then it says this, And all of you clothe yourself with humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Someone said Jesus knew that there was a competitive spirit in the hearts of his disciples. In fact, in a few minutes, the men were disputing over which of them was the greatest, or which of them would be the greatest in the kingdom of God. All that night they received a valuable lesson in humility, I believe. 
uh, we need to learn the same lesson that the disciples were taught on that night. John Newton, you may not know the name, but he wrote Amazing Grace. And he said this, he said, if two angels in heaven were given assignments by God at the same time, one of them to go and rule over the greatest nation on earth and the other to go sweep the streets of the dirtiest village, each angel would be completely indifferent as to which one got which assignment. Jesus told his disciples in verse 14, he says, If then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. In other words, Jesus is saying, if this is something that I'm doing, then certainly it is something that you should do. Jesus Christ was the ultimate example of what it means to be humble. He was an example to us. In verse 15, it says, For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done for you. He had the power to create the heavens and the earth. He had the power to, not only did He go to the cross, but He had the power to rise from the dead. He is all-powerful. He was, in the flesh, God. And yet, He allowed man to nail Him to the cross. Jesus Christ served those He encountered, and He taught His disciples to do the same. In verse 17, the Bible says, if you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. You see, it's one thing to know these things, but it's quite another to do them. And I know that what I've been talking about here today really cuts against the grain of what we see in our society. And yet we find Jesus doing just that. He is our perfect example of humility. And I think that we should follow his pattern. Now most of you are sheltering in place. You're not leaving home very much. So you might find it difficult to find opportunities to serve, but really they're all around you. And I think the first place that we start is at home with our families. That's a great place to serve and be an example of true humility. So why not start there? Missionary Jim Elliott, who served and ultimately gave his life trying to reach the Indians in South America with the Christian faith, said, He is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep to gain that which he will never lose. Does your life revolve around what you can get out of it? Or does your life reflect a life of service? Let me encourage you to give your life as Jesus did, serving others. That's true humility. I want to thank you today for joining me once again. And, and I'll post another video tomorrow on Good Friday at 1 o'clock. I hope that you can join in with me. And oh, by the way, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, I'm going to be on Facebook Live, uh, the First Baptist Church Facebook page. And uh, we'll be doing the Lord's Supper or partaking of the Lord's Supper and uh, just gather your family around. You can have some crackers and some bread, have some juice there, and uh, then you can follow along in that service. It probably won't take us, but maybe 10 minutes. I hope that you can be there. God bless, and I hope you have a great evening.